Hi guys, it's Sheila from One Pretty Little Box. I am back with your Monday grocery haul. Aren't you so excited? Um, yeah, I went to Walmart, so um, let's just hop to it. Then I'll chit chat with you for a minute, okay? I got two packs, two one pound packs of ground beef sirloin. One is for meatloaf, the other one is for um, baked cheesy tortellini. I've not made that for my family in a while. Um, I also bought a beef chuck roast, an Angus beef chuck roast. I'm going to make my my favorite famous um, river ranch roast probably tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be crummy. A pack of chicken thighs and some really thin um, beef top round steak. Um, I'm going to make Philly cheese steaks with those. I don't know. Um, hold on. I don't know if I'm going to make that tonight. Sorry, my OCD. I have to put these back where I got them from. Do you got it? If you you catch me, you, you could be my best friend. Um, some mini Ola onion, uh, onions. Gross. Some mini Ola oranges. Um, a bottle of Purex. I like that power shot, you guys know, because when my kids do their own laundry, they are not wasting my laundry soap. Um, a thing of downy. I rotate between dryer sheets and liquid softener, and it's time for some liquid softener. A gallon of milk, one pack of grains. Um, I am going to try this Coffee Mate salted caramel chocolate. It looked really great, and I'm ready for something different in my coffee. Um, a pack of uh, salted butter sticks and a new tub of margarine. Some red seedless grapes. Some of yellow onions, two beefsteak tomatoes, two bell peppers, um, a pound of cheddar jack. Is it a full pound? No, it's only eight ounces. Um, a cup, right? Eight ounces are in a cup? I don't know. Cheddar jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some smoked provolone cheese. And as you see in the back, the green leaf lettuce that I always buy. Okay, over here. This is mostly pantry stuff. So you got some medium shells, that's for mac and cheese. Um, some home style shredded Parmesan, but it's not from the refrigerator section. I think I've tried this one before and I like it, so I'm gonna give it a go again. Um, some Lipton onion soup mix. I use that in the meatloaf um, along with stove top. And it actually is always flavorful and delicious. Um, a fun Funfetti mix. Yes, I love to bake from scratch, but sometimes nothing beats this. And my family, I'm ready to give them a treat. So, some more Red Lobster biscuits, even though we didn't eat the ones from last week. Never can have too many in hand. Fun Funfetti frosting. Um, some more coffee. Some Victoria marinara sauce. I've never tried the Victoria brand company, but I've heard lots of people talk about it. So we're going to give it a go, and hopefully that will be fabulous. Um, some more Crisco and a bag of Cheeto Puffs. Two two liters of Mountain Dew Code Red. Um, our weekly Spam. I got some uh, Italian light, Ita light Italian herb flat out um, flatbread for chicken, bacon, Caesar wraps. I think I'm going to make those for dinner tonight. I keep going back and forth, but I think that's what I'm going to make for dinner. Um, and some fl regular large flour tortillas for the kids if they don't want to try the flat out. Um, a zesty Italian mix. I never can have too many. Some more ranch packets. My favorite, garlic salt. This cheater pack of bacon, that is for the, the wraps. Um, yeah, I usually don't buy it, but whatever. Um, two cans of Le Chur very small green peas. Those are my husband and my daughter's favorite. So there you go. Two cans of whole kernel corn. I usually buy frozen. Two cans of green beans. Two cans of cream and mushroom soup. A pack of Splenda. Um, some more crystal light lemonade. Some hoagie rolls that got smushed at the end. But I think for Philly cheesesteaks will be okay. I can work it. Make it work. If anything, I will use those for um, garlic toast when we have cheesy tortellini, and I'll just buy a fresh bag of hoagie rolls on the day I decide to make that. 
um, a pack of paper plates, paper towels for my stash because I just opened the last one, some more sandwich bags. We're not out yet, but I want to have some on hand. Another loaf of um, Nature's Own Honey Wheat Bread. That will go in the freezer because I just opened a, the last loaf from the freezer. Our Walmart does not carry chicken tenders or chicken strips. They tend to carry a lot of boneless wings which and popcorn chicken, which might would have been okay, but no, I wanted for the wraps. So I wanted some bigger pieces, and I did not want to cook the chicken myself. So I kind of already had another different pack of Tyson out there, so I got what um, our Walmart had and whatever. Um, and cheesy tortellini. And for something that does not matter, to, oh, there is a case of water you guys haven't seen, but it's Ozark. It's what you always see every week. And I picked up these dollar packs of this. That's for my daughter, for one of the twins, the other twin. And um, I was just in the mood for some chocolate-covered raisins. So there you go. As you guys know, and because I just told you, I went to Walmart. And I spent a total of $184.73. Which really wasn't too bad. When you think about the things of meat that I got, um, that roast alone was... $14, $12, you know, and the steak on the bottom was, I think, 10 or 12 and then the chicken breast, uh, you know, it is what it is. That, I think, is not too bad. Anytime I go over $200, I tend to panic. Yes, I could have only walked out of there spending $180 if I didn't buy the four things of candy, but if I'm worried about four things of candy, I need to kind of trim my budget a whole lot, you know. All right, guys, that's it. Um, next week's haul, um, yeah, next week's haul, I will have February's wrap-up of, um, of how much I spent and where I was on budget. Um, I was going to do that for this week, but I just didn't take the time this weekend. And that is it. I hope you guys have a fantabulous Monday evening. Um, if you don't see this till Tuesday, then I hope your Tuesday is a fabulous day as well. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.